Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about like how I can delete a blob storage file using the .NET Core application. So in the previous video, where we have discussed how to get blob storage file, how to download and how to upload a new file on the blob story. So in this, uh, what we are going to see, we are like how I can delete a blob storage file using the .NET Core application. So for that one, First, let's go to the Visual Studio. So in this Visual Studio, like what changes first I did, I added one TD blog and inside this one, I added one button called delete. So this is the first thing changes which I did. Here you can see all these changes. Next thing, what I did on this CS file, I'm just calling on post delete method and I'm taking the blog name, like for which blog we are going to delete. And in the interface, like I created one method called delete blog name and in the service side what I did I'm taking the container and, and connection string in the variable next what I am doing here I'm just creating an object of the blog service client and then I'm just calling the get blog container client and then this client like this blog container client contain one method called delete blog if exist async so I'm just calling that method. If it that particular blob name already exists, then it will delete. Otherwise, it will not delete. Then what it give us? It give us the facility like it will not give us any error if that file not exists. So we are safe. Like in particular file name, if it is not exist, but still we have given, so it will not give any exception. If it exists, it will delete. Otherwise, it will not. So that's the thing which we have done there and here. Like once it will delete, we are redirecting to page, so it will refresh that page also. And if I will go on the Azure portal side, currently we can see here total four files we are having. Once we'll delete any file, it should reduce that. So let's run this application. So this is the logic, like basically everything, like whatever the operation we are doing, first what we have to do, we have to get the container name, a string, and then finally we have to get an object of the blog container client because this blog container client contain all the information, all the operation which we want to perform or we want to play with the storage account. With this, like we can play with the container. You, you can see it is a container client and we can play with this, whatever the operation we want accordingly we can do. So here you can see like all these things which we are having here actually one thing is missing so that we can write. So let's close this one first and go to the code and here what I can do in this CSHTML here, uh, like just copy it. And here what I'm going to do, I'm going to write the action. So let's run this again. So it will give us the column name also. So basically what I was saying, like if we are having an object of the block container, then we can perform any operation, whatever we want in our application. So let's run this application and once it will run we what we will do we will perform the operation of the delete so currently what i'm going to do i'm going to delete this angular dot the docx file when i will click on this one what it should do it should delete us we can see currently there are three files only now if i will click on the shisha at the last file when i will click on this one i can delete that file and currently we can see two files and now if i will go on the azure portal and here if i will refresh this file it should delete that file for us so now if i will refresh this one what it should show it should show only two files because other files i have deleted and we can see as the data it is showing as expected expected so this is the way what we can see like we can delete the file uh, on from the storage label using the dotnet core application so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment and if you like this video then please share it with others thank you